Welcome to section 3 of game playing and rule based systems. Here we'll see how AI games works. We'll have a very general introduction of what game playing is and we'll see how rule based system is implemented in a declarative programming language which is Prolog and we'll see how to interface with Prolog in Java. So coming to game playing, we'll discuss an algorithm called MinMax algorithm. Now, in order to understand what min-max algorithm is, we should know what game playing is or what game trees are. So, coming to game playing, we actually classify a game playing into game trees. Now, game tree, a tree is what? A tree is we have a root node and root node had its children and each children, they are subdivided into multiple children and we in a form form a tree. And the last terminal nodes are termed as leaves. So, here our main aim is to win the game. So now we try to search the best possible solution by performing look aheads in the game tree. The most important thing in a game playing is that we don't actually go down to a particular node. We don't actually go down to complete tree. We don't play the entire game, but we are at the root position and we are trying to look out the best possibility that is available to us so that it can maximize our chances of winning the game. Now, since we are doing a game playing and uh, we will have a, like in a game of chess or in a game of tic-tac-toe, after our turn, it's our opponent's turn. So all our children or the children of a particular node would be our opponent's move. So our opponent's objective would be to make us lose because whatever the game playing that game tree that we are going to develop, it would be in our perspective. So from our perspective at our particular moves, our objective is to win the game and once our move is done and we have our opponent's move so the opponent move in our perspective would be to make us lose so by performing the look aheads we would simply search the game trees so consider a tree with two types of nodes so here we'll have two types of nodes one would be the min nodes min nodes would be our opponent's nodes opponent's options and the other would be the max nodes these would be our nodes so the, in min nodes we select the minimum cost successor out of all the successors that we have for a particular node we are going to choose the minimum out of them the one which has the minimum cost and in a max node we try to find out the maximum successor because these are our moves so in our moves we'll show them with the max node our opponent's move will show them in a min node. Now, we are not actually moving to a particular point. We are only looking ahead. We are only doing some certain computations in the memory. And we are trying to find out the best move that is possible. So, the terminal nodes are the winning or losing nodes. But it is often not feasible to search the terminal nodes. So, we apply heuristics to compare the non-terminal nodes. So, this is game tree that we have. Right now, I am at particular this point. And I want to make a move and I have two options either take a right subtree or a left subtree. Now at random if I take any of the subtrees my chances of losing the game are very much higher. So what I want to do is I want to apply certain heuristics. I want to apply certain mechanisms so that my chances of winning the game should increase. So what I do I try to model the game suppose if I take this move though then my opponent would have either this option or this option. If my opponent takes me to this move, I'll have an option of choosing either this or this. If my opponent chooses this, I might have this option. And this is the maximum that I can do. This is the maximum my computer system can do, let's say. Beyond this, my computer system does not have the RAM to process any further. So from this point, I'll apply heuristics. So these are the heuristic values of all the terminal nodes. The game is not ending over here and we are only applying a look ahead. So this is the maximum look ahead. This is up to the maximum depth that we can go for a look ahead. After this, we are going to apply heuristics. The chances of winning the game at particular this point is let's say 10%, then we have 11%, 9, 11. These are the, all the terminal values that we have. Now, this is our opponent's move. So our opponent's move, this is the min node. So a min node will always choose a minimum out of its successors. So at one point we have 10, the, at other point we have 11. So the min node will always choose 10. Now if I see over there, I have 9 and 11, I'll get 9. 14 and 15, I'll get 14. 13 and 14, I'll get 13. 5 and 2, I'll get 2. 4, 1, 3 and 20, so on. Now above this, it's our move. So these are the max nodes. So max nodes will always choose the maximum out of its successors. So we have 10 and 9. So we'll have 10 over here, 14 over here, 2 over here and 20 over here. Now 
it's our opponent's move so opponent will always choose minimum among his successors so it has an option of choosing between 10 and 14 it's a min node so it will always choose the minimum this is also a min node so it will always choose the minimum among its successors so it will choose 2 now this is the max node it will choose the maximum among its successors so it will choose 10 so this is how game playing works